Have you ever wondered what happens when two of the most mysterious and powerful entities in the universe collide? Black holes, these enigmatic, all-consuming titans of the cosmos, are born from the remnants of massive stars that have exhausted their nuclear fuel. They are regions in space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape their pull. Imagine that, a force so powerful that the fastest thing in the universe is rendered helpless. Now, what about black hole collisions? This is an area of astrophysics that, much like the black holes themselves, is shrouded in mystery and complexity. The idea is tantalizing, thrilling, and a bit terrifying. It's a cosmic dance of unimaginable scale and power. But what happens when these celestial behemoths meet? What spectacle unfolds when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? So, let's dive into the cosmic abyss and explore what happens when black holes collide. Imagine two massive cosmic giants spiraling towards each other in a dance of gravity. The stage is set in the vast cosmic theater where two black holes, these celestial behemoths, engage in an orbital waltz. This isn't your average dance, but a cosmic ballet dictated by the laws of physics. Like two star-crossed lovers, they circle each other, caught in a gravitational embrace. As they pirouette in the celestial ballroom, they gradually inch closer. But why do they move closer? The answer lies in a phenomenon called gravitational wave radiation. Now, let's take a moment to understand gravitational waves. Imagine tossing a pebble into a still pond. The pebble disrupts the calm water, sending ripples across the surface. These ripples are akin to gravitational waves, which are disturbances in the fabric of space-time caused by the acceleration of massive objects. In our cosmic dance, the two black holes are the pebbles, and the universe is the pond. As they twirl around each other, these black holes cause ripples in space-time. These ripples, the gravitational waves, radiate away from the black holes, carrying energy with them. Now here's the thing about energy. It has to come from somewhere. In this case, it's from the orbital energy of the black holes. As the gravitational waves carry away energy, the black holes lose some of their orbital energy, causing them to inch closer and closer. This is the pre-collision phase, a slow, inexorable dance that could last millions, even billions of years. Each orbit brings them a tad closer, each dance step a prelude to the grand finale. The dance of these cosmic giants is not just a spectacle, it's a symphony of gravitational physics. It's a testament to the power and beauty of the universe, a ballet that speaks volumes about the nature of space-time itself. As they draw closer, they set the stage for a cataclysmic event. The tempo of their dance quickens, the gravitational waves intensify, and the curtain begins to rise on the next act of this cosmic performance. And then, in a flash of high-energy radiation, they collide. Imagine two celestial titans hurtling towards one another at a speed that defies comprehension. The sheer energy of this cosmic ballet is enough to make your heart race. This is the moment when two black holes, those mysterious chasms in the fabric of space-time, finally meet. It's an event so cataclysmic, it sends ripples through the very structure of the universe. As these gargantuan entities draw closer, they begin to spiral around each other faster and faster in a deadly dance of gravity and momentum. Their individual gravitational pulls distort space and time around them, creating a swirling vortex of energy and matter. When they finally collide, the impact releases a tremendous burst of energy equivalent to several billion times the power output of our sun. This event, known as a black hole merger, results in the formation of a larger black hole. The newly formed black hole carries the combined mass, spin, and charge of its parents, but its size and shape are determined by the violent nature of the collision. But, how do we know all this? After all, black holes are notoriously elusive, their presence only inferred by their gravitational effects on surrounding matter. The answer lies in the science of gravitational waves. When black holes collide, they create ripples in the fabric of space-time, much like the ripples created when a stone is dropped into a pond. These ripples, or gravitational waves, travel at the speed of light, carrying information about their cataclysmic origins. Scientists, using incredibly sensitive instruments like the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or LIGO, can detect these faint echoes from across the cosmos and use them to study these awe-inspiring events. The aftermath of such a collision is nothing short of monumental. It's a testament to the sheer power and majesty of the universe we inhabit. A universe that continues to astound and amaze us with its beauty, complexity, and sheer scale. 
It's a reminder that we are but tiny observers in a vast cosmic play, privileged to witness such awe-inspiring spectacles. Now we're left with a new, more massive black hole. The aftermath of a black hole collision is a spectacle of cosmic proportions. This aftermath, however, isn't a scene of destruction as you might imagine, but rather, one of creation. Picture this. Two black holes, once separate entities, now merged into a single, more massive black hole. The newly formed black hole is a testament to the extraordinary power of gravity. The same force that once kept these two giants in their cosmic dance now binds them into a single entity. This entity is larger and stronger, its gravitational pull even more irresistible than before. But the story doesn't end here. The aftermath of the collision is marked by a phenomenon known as the gravitational wave ringdown. Imagine a bell. When you strike it, it rings, right? The sound waves gradually diminish until they're no longer audible. The same happens with black holes. When they collide, they produce gravitational waves that ripple through the fabric of space-time. These waves, much like the sound of a ringing bell, gradually decrease in intensity. This decrease, known as the ringdown, is a signal that the newly formed black hole is settling into its new shape and size. This process of stabilization is not instant. It takes time for the black hole to reach equilibrium. The gravitational waves produced during this phase are faint, yet, they carry invaluable information about the nature and properties of the black hole. The shape of these waves can tell us about the mass and spin of the new black hole, providing us with a unique insight into these enigmatic cosmic objects. So what happens after the collision? Well, the newly formed black hole, now stable and more massive, continues on its cosmic journey. It moves through the universe, its presence known only through the gravitational waves it leaves in its wake. These waves, like cosmic whispers, are the only evidence we have of the collision. The newly formed black hole then continues its journey in the cosmos, leaving behind only gravitational waves as evidence of the collision. But what does this mean for our understanding of the universe? When black holes collide, they send ripples through the fabric of space-time known as gravitational waves. These waves, much like the ripples on a pond after a stone has been thrown, travel at the speed of light carrying with them information about their cataclysmic origins. By observing these waves, we can validate one of the predictions of Einstein's theory of relativity, that mass and energy can distort space-time, causing these gravitational waves. Each collision that we can observe stands as another testament to Einstein's groundbreaking theory, further solidifying its place in our scientific understanding. But these collisions offer more than just confirmation of existing theories, they also provide insight into the formation of galaxies. You see, black holes are not just celestial oddities, they play a vital role in the dynamics of galaxies. Their immense gravitational pull can influence the path of stars, dust and gas, shaping the very structure of the galaxies they inhabit. So by studying the remnants of black hole collisions, we can learn more about how galaxies form and evolve over billions of years. And lastly, these collisions offer clues about the universe's history and its future. The frequency and distribution of these events can tell us about the early universe when black holes were first forming. They can also hint at the universe's future, as the result of these collisions, larger, more massive black holes, can significantly impact the fate of the universe. So, while black hole collisions may seem like distant, abstract events, they are quite significant. They connect us to the deepest mysteries of the cosmos, from the bending of space-time to the birth of galaxies, from the dawn of the universe to its distant future. Black hole collisions, while complex and mysterious, are key to unlocking some of the universe's greatest secrets. So, we've journeyed through the cosmos and witnessed the incredible spectacle of black hole collisions. We started with the enigma of these cosmic giants, their mysterious nature intriguing scientists and stargazers alike. We then explored their cosmic dance as they spiral towards each other in a ballet of gravitational forces. The collision, a moment of unfathomable energy release, reshapes the very fabric of space-time around it. It's a cataclysmic event, yet it's also a birth of sorts, as the collision gives rise to a new, larger black hole. The aftermath of this event sends ripples across the universe in the form of gravitational waves providing us with invaluable data to further our understanding of the cosmos. The scientific implications are vast. Black hole collisions challenge and affirm our theories, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and fueling our curiosity. As we continue to explore the universe, who knows what other cosmic wonders we'll uncover.